Today I'll guide you on how to build this storage room, where you're going to want to put it, and what items you're going to want to store inside. And we're going to move through things pretty quick, so if you could leave me a like, that would really help me out. And if you think this, that, and this other thing look pretty cool, subscribe for more of my satisfactory videos. So why do you want to build this storage room, and what are some of its features? A. I have like over 2,000 hours in the game, so I know how to build a storage room, and I've used this in pretty much all of my playthroughs. It's fantastic. You can see everything that you need, visually, right in front of you. All the bins are easily auto-refillable, and the best thing is you have this centerpiece right at the end with your MAM, some extra storage, and a little way to throw things in the awesome sink, just through this bin here. Alright, so where do you want this? Well, obviously beside your main factory, but if you don't have that established yet, try and build it somewhere in the loop. No, not that loop. The map loop. And what the heck does that mean? Well, here's the map, and here's the loop. This marks the easiest way around the entire map. So you can build all your train tracks on this line, then have your main storage room nearby the line, and all the trains can deliver everything to the one centralized location really, really easily. Then what do you want to store inside? Well, obviously pretty much everything, but the main thing is to have the most heavily used items in the most convenient areas. So near like the back of the storage room, you'd have your radio control units, super computers, and other things. And then at the front, like concrete, iron plates, and your belting materials. And for convenience, here's just a little table of what I keep in my storage room, in the order I keep things. But just use this as a guideline, and adjust things as you see fit. Alright though, that's all the need to know stuff, so let's actually get into the building tutorial. And to start things off, you're gonna need a huge foundation, that's 8 foundations wide, and 13 foundations long. And then off of the center two foundations, you're gonna want to build 14 large storage containers on both the left and the right. Make sure to have them at this proper alignment so you can do the cool belt thing I'm about to show you. In the back here, you're gonna have a 4x4 little cube as well, because the cool feature at the end of the room is actually just the back side of the resource sink. So, it's both functional and looks good. And then here's just an overview of the entire room, and please, remember to leave the two tiles of space behind the storage bins. You will absolutely need that space for all of the belt work. Next up though, how do you do the cool belt thing here where it shows you the items? Well this is quite complicated, so I'll go a little slowly. What you're going to need to do first, is you're going to want to get rid of the platform in front of the bin. Next, you're going to want to build a 8 by 2 meter foundation. Then you're going to want to build an 8 by 1 meter foundation. So you stack them both up, so you're at about that height. Next, you want to put a Mark 1 belt just up against the bin and bring it down to there. The idea of this is just to see where this conveyor pole goes exactly. Because the problem is building these. Because if you try and build these while the belt is connected, you won't be able to. Okay? That's kind of the tricky thing here. So, if you don't have the belt there, you can build these in, fill that all in, very happy. And then you can connect the belt through the floor and allows you to clip. Just like so. It's a little finicky, but that's how it works. So it's quite tedious, but once you get the first one done, you can kind of just go off of here and work your way all the way down. In fact, if you can eyeball things just right, you can even just put this pull in first, then build in the foundation walkway things, like so, and connect up the belt. Oh! And you can even build through the foundation just like that. So yeah, that's kind of the hard part and best part of this. It's just very tedious, but it will look fantastic. It's super worth. In the back here now, you're going to want to put up a divider wall between here and your awesome sink. And then on the left or the right, I guess, uh, let's just choose the left, put a doorway here. And then you put a storage container right behind it. And the storage container will lead all of your items into the awesome sink. So then when you're running around, you have like a couple things you want to throw away. Just go over to the door, throw them away. Done skis. It's like a garbage can, except you get coupons for it. Next, let's build the cool decal at the end of the room here. And the big thing back here is the order of which you build things. So first, you're going to want to put down your foundations here. This is just to raise up the ma'am so it looks a little bit more interesting, a little bit cooler as kind of like the end piece. You can have the ramps just like so. And then, for the pillars on the side, look at the wall there, and the pillar will clip into the foundation. And it'll be flush with the floor. If you just look at the floor, this will kind of like hover up that weird amount there, so you don't want that. 
And then before you build the MAM centerpiece, we need to make those cool shelf things. Well, it's super easy. You just have to build a bunch of platforms, really. So you start with that eight by two foundation. You put down a little storage box right on top. You delete the foundation. Now you just put an eight by one foundation, build another storage box, get rid of that. And then you just build another box on the ground. And finally, you get a stackable conveyor pull and just build it right on top. There you go. But then once those are installed, you throw down your ma'am and the masterpiece is complete. And lastly, of course, it's the roof and a little bit of detailing. So I'd like to put sloped ramps up there and a couple of the Miller Piddles as well, just to have a nice little bit of space between there and the lights that are on the high ceiling. So the lights shine down a bit more. Behind, I like to put some lights shining on the awesome sink, just hidden off in the corners there. And then there's all the belt work. And hopefully you heeded my warning and left the space back here, because then if you did, the belt work is super simple. It can go wherever. It's hidden. You can't see it from inside the storage room. So you can have belts going everywhere. You can have a train station next door to this whole thing. It's fantastic. You can have belts also go up on the roof and go to the other side of the storage room super simply. Or, this could actually look pretty cool, but you could have belts going through this top area here. Just like so. And a bunch of them at different heights and stuff could look really awesome. Adds a little bit of busyness, some movement going on. Yeah, you can really start to get creative here. But I still have one more mission critical tip, and that is what to actually store in these boxes back here. This is actually quite important. Uh, the organization on the left side can just be your things you use every so often, like some rifle ammo, some stuff you pick up in the world, and maybe color cartridges. Because honestly, that's all you really need, unless you're especially prone to uh, destruction. But more importantly, these things you want to have in the right chests. You need a couple crystal oscillators, some screws for random things you put together, a fused modular frames for the late game, need them a little bit, same with turbo motors, and beacons, about this many will do you for pretty much the entire game, cooling units, and finally, portable miners. And then you are good to go. Even if that isn't enough for you, you have the side rooms off to the left and right, so you can have some extra storage off into the right, you can have some extra things over to the left, like your crafting bench and coupon shop, and you can do what you want from there. And that is the whole tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want more really, really good satisfactory tips, I have linked a fantastic video about Update 4 in the description, and it will be a card at the end of the video too. And of course, feel free to like and subscribe. But for now, have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye